Sports with FC Buffalo hope to see the stands full at All High Stadium. Their home opener happening Saturday night. News for Lauren Hall is at Duville College. Members of the team are getting in a morning practice on a sunny day. Good morning. They couldn't ask for better weather for their little early morning practice here at Duville College. We have coach of FC Buffalo, Brendan Murphy, fourth season with the team. What are your hopes this year? Just hoping for a great turnout on the first game on Saturday and, you know, hopefully we continue to improve, which is what we've tried to do each year. I've been involved with the club and, you know, try to get a couple more wins this year than we got last year. So we have some guys out practicing this morning. Who do we have with us this morning? What are they up to? I got to say, I love all their cleats. Oh, yes. Uh, you know, some of these guys like to get real fancy with their cleats, which is fine. Um, they just got to produce when they get on the field. <laughs> so this is a, a group right here. These two guys are from LIU Brooklyn. Um, this is Brian Paredes and Romario Guscott. They were in the NCAA tournament this last year. Good morning. Um, hey, Brian and Romario, let's get a little wave. <laughs> All right, good morning. And, and these guys right here, this is Ian McGrath from Evansville and Kobe from Niagara. And then we've got... Ian and Kobe? Oh, sorry. We've got right? Hunter and Steve. Hunter from UB and Steve from Niagara as well, doing some Corver touches. We have a big roster, all college players for the most part, right? Pretty much all college players. I don't want to leave out a couple of veterans, Chris Walter and Kendall McFadden. But yeah, we mostly have college players and um, guys that are currently involved with Division One programs. Living here for the summer, living together, training together. Saturday night, home opener. Who's the opponent? What time does everything get started? Uh, everything gets started at 7 is game time. Um, the opponent is the Rochester River Dogs. They're a new team, so this will be their first year as an NPSL franchise. They've, they've made some great signings, and you know, I have a lot of respect for their coach, so I think it'll be a great battle. And that will be taking place at All High Stadium. Again, game is at 7 o'clock. We have posted a link to ticket information and everything you need to know about FC Buffalo, their upcoming season, and their fan base, how you can be part of their fan club, the Situation Room. That's all on the Founded on 4 link of WIVB.com. We'll see you again in about half an hour here from Duville College. Reporting live, Lauren Hall, News 4 Wake Up. Morning, Lauren. Brittany. The guys, they couldn't ask for a really a better weather morning to be working on their skills. They're working on some juggling skills right now, gearing up for Saturday's home opener at All High Stadium. We have Coach Brendan Murphy. Coach, what's going on over to your left? Well, these guys are just trying to show off some of their little juggling tricks. We had a, we had a juggling contest at practice the other night, and, and these are some of the tricks that the guys were pulling off. So they've earned the opportunity to showcase themselves right now today. So fun to watch. Their colorful cleats make it even more fun to watch. We'll talk to a couple of the guys in a second here, but I do have to ask you, would you rather have them train in tough weather or would you rather have them train in, in weather like this? Well, the great thing about Buffalo is we've got both. So, you know, it's good because we're used to it and other teams maybe aren't with weather patterns wherever they are. But um, it's good that they're able to be able to deal with rain and, and snow and wet, but hopefully we don't have snow this summer. Yeah, that would not be good. That would probably be pretty hard to do what they're doing right now in the snow. People by now probably have heard of FC Buffalo. They know about your situation room cheering section. They know your colors, your songs, and your chants. But they might not know who the players are on the team. Talk to us a little bit about the guys, when they all got into town, and how you're meshing so far and gelling. Well, it's been great. It's been tough because it's quick. And some of the guys have literally just gotten here last night. Um, Ian got here a, a day and a half ago, Romario and Brian, they got here literally last night at about 6 p.m. Um, and then we have a, a mixture of local guys and, and other guys that will be arriving that haven't even arrived yet. So I've had a total of five sessions uh, to get everybody together for the first game on Saturday. Um, at least, you know, try to build some level of chemistry that we can, you know, hopefully put on a good performance. And the guys have been doing a great job. We do a lot of little team building things to try to get them talking to each other and, and getting to know each other. So that helps. All right, that's about all the time we have, but we have a great team building exercise coming up for you in about half an hour here on the CW 23. It's become a tradition here on Wake Up every year before the home opener with the FC Buffalo guys. It's the crossbar challenge, and we'll see you just after 8.30 with more on that from Duval College. Reporting live, Lauren Hall, News 4 Wake Up. Happening in Buffalo, a chance for fans to catch some professional soccer action. FC Buffalo returns to All High Stadium on Saturday to kick off their seventh season. News 4's Lauren Hall joins us live this morning at one of their practices. Lauren? Good morning, Brian. It's been a whirlwind couple days of training for the FC Buffalo guys. A lot of them still getting into town from their colleges and universities all over the country. We have Ian McGrath with us right now. You just got here when, Ian? Uh, two days ago. From? from Chicago, Illinois. So he's just coming to the team. What are your hopes this year for the season? Um, just to 
uh, enjoy the competition, um, play in front of this beautiful home crowd and this beautiful city. So really looking forward to it. Now we know we j you just got here, but what are your first impressions of the city so far? Um, I love it. It's beautiful scenes here. Um, excited to be with the team. We just had a great training session, high intensity, good competition. So just looking, for, looking forward for uh, Saturday. Ian, thanks so much. Good luck this season. Go get with your teammates. They're going to do something that they do at a lot of the end of their uh, training sessions, the crossbar challenge. Coach Brendan Murphy is also with us this morning. If you play soccer, you're familiar with this. But for those of us who don't and who aren't familiar, explain what this uh, drill is all about. Sure. It's just a test of accuracy and who's, who's going to be able to come through in the clutch. Everybody tries to kick their ball from this red line. It's probably 40 yards out and see if they can hit the crossbar. What do you get if you do? Uh, you get the opportunity to come over here and celebrate in front of the camera and you know it depends on the practice session sometimes we, we have a little prize or a little um, l they don't have to do the punishment of the rest of the team or they have to, the other guys have to clean up all the stuff and they don't have to. <laughs> that does not sound very fun. <laughs> Although on a day like this anything to be outside I think is going to work for us. We've got about 30 seconds left here coach. What would you like fans to know before your home opener Saturday night at All High Stadium games at 7 p.m.? They're going to see a team that's going to be hardworking, blue collar, that wants to go out there and do all the little things, do the dirty work, and you know, hopefully be able to come through and, and put some, some fun uh, scoreboard uh, items on the scoreboard and <laughs> see if we can get some crowds excited. I did talk to one of the players, Romario. He said he's going to score 10 to 15 goals this season. What do you think about that? Oh, that would be amazing. I, I think he has the potential to be a big-time player for us. And oh, uh, I know <laughs> we're just we're just hoping hoping somebody can hit. All right, let's get one more, and then we are getting the rep. So that's going to be Ian so close. Hey, at least he scored. Yep, very <laughs> very good effort. Very good effort. Coach, good luck with the rest of your training and Saturday night and throughout the rest of the season. We have posted on our website under the Founded on Four tab of WIVB.com all of the information about FC Buffalo ticket prices and their schedule for the rest of the year. There's our last one. Oh, unfortunately, no one got the crossbar challenge this time around. So for now, we're going to send it back to you. Reporting live, Lauren Hall, News 4 Wake Up.